been thrown in the drunk tank. The Here's question a good is, story. have I ever been arrested? Yes. Here's a good one. Okay. My hometown's Kelowna, BC, and I went back, would go, it's like now a great place to go party, and for some reason there's some beautiful women that come out of there. <clears throat> True. Now it's gotten kind of like there's a strip, there's like a couple rip joints and some clubs, and so we would go back in my early 20s and go, you know, whatever, have some good times. And it was like me, my brother, a couple close buddies, and good group. And I got so drunk. You know when you get so drunk, you're in the bar or whatever, and you're like, I got to go. <laughs> it just you hits know? you all of a sudden. You're like, I'm oh, like wait. I can't even, like, you can't take care of yourself. I'm pointless yeah. being here. Yeah. I'm actually a hindrance to anyone else that wants a good time. <laughs> so I'm like, his name was Rory, and I'm like, he had this big Dodge Ram. And I'm like, Rory, give me your keys. I'm out. And he's like, no. And I'm like, okay, just give me the lock so I can get in because he thought I was going to drive. Right. Smart guy. Um, so I get the beep, beep, and I go, and I find the truck, right? And I'm, like, well. slaughtered. And I didn't, unbeknownst to me, there's two cops that are just following me, right? And I had no idea. Get in the car, <clears throat> get in the back, which is pretty spacious. And I'm just chilling. And... I open the car and half in, half out, I throw up like I'm talking like a lot, like absurd. Ladies, and, is he still attractive? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ladies. Um, if you love honesty, then damn. Um, so I get, I don't even remember this, uh, any of this. Like I remember being in the bar being like, man, I gotta go. Um, which is rare. You ever been so drunk where you're like, I'm so drunk. <laughs> Just tell people how drunk you are. It's this a bad was, place my to be. buddy came down to Austin and I was, this is a little tangent and we were back at his place and, and I was like, man, I'm so drunk. I don't even know what I can really, anything. And uh, so anyways, it sounds like I'm like an alcoholic as well. We're going to put a disclaimer like, on this. Yeah, story. okay. <laughs> Let it scroll through as I'm Three saying days this story. Sober. Yeah, <laughs> it's a win for me, okay? Uh, so long story short, they throw me in the drunk tank, and the best thing ever, and we still have this note, is it's on my buddy, on the back of a parking ticket, and it was in the vein of, we took your friend to the drunk tank, he was inebriated beyond like comprehension and he was throwing up so much in the truck and on the sidewalk that we thought it was gonna risk his life. <laughs> like he was gonna choke on his own puke. See what and it's like, he's off. at this address. And I'm like, <laughs> so it gets better. So they let me, they let me out and I had no buddies. I don't know what's going on, nothing on me. So I'm just roaming like the it. streets yeah. of the town looking and I think by chance, quite literally by chance, they passed, they, they found me just roaming. They were following still the, drunk, the smell obviously. of vomit. <laughs> yeah, me. <laughs> on me. So we still have that note, that ticket at my mom's house. Oh, obviously she must a proud be very proud, yeah. yeah. Yeah, frame that. <laughs> Me in a nutshell. Amazing. Yeah. Um, I just suddenly feel like a drink. You want to go out yeah, and get, get a brew? Yeah, let's go. Whiskey? At least 12. <laughs>